smartphones today tend to have extremely powerful cameras in them and this is an S7 and it's got a 4K camera you can video in 4K it's got super slow mo zoom so if the cameras in smartphones are so great then why am I still using this old Sony Cybershot Sony shoots in HD so why do I still use this? well because of this optical zoom that's the biggest negative of using your smartphone is that it doesn't have optical zoom digital zoom just takes away the resolution it's meaningless so you can't benefit from the powerful camera in the phone as well as the massive screen you know, look at the difference yeah. so I've been looking for a solution to this on Amazon basically you need to attach something to the camera so you can enable some sort of zoom and after much searching I settled on this which I bought from Amazon for £30 it's the Mio monocular telescope apparently you should be able to just attach to the camera on the smartphone and that will give you your zoom first we'll have a look what it comes with the reason I bought this or the others is because it's got a lot of add-ons with it like it's got a tripod so obviously you can't just it's gonna make it very difficult to hold so it's got a tripod and it's got a remote a Bluetooth remote that's going to be interesting so let's see what you get in the box first you get a little pouch which this came in it's a velvety I don't think you need a pouch because it's pretty robustly made like it's metal with a rubber coating all over it and a the lenses have got caps on them. It's got one, two, three different adjustment levels. So you should be able to get a clear image. It's also got a little spirit to keep it level. It's got attachment for a tripod, of course, which is good. So you can use it on its own as a telescope, as well as a zoom for the smartphone. So what else you get? Actually, get a smartphone holder. And this is the telescope. I mean, the, the tripod. Oh, that's pretty small. Let's just hold the weight. We'll see in it. Let's, let's set it all up and see what it looks like. So now, let's set it up for the first time. Okay. The tripod out. See how hard it is to set up. Obviously, after you've done it a few times, it'll be easier. Tripod is there, yeah, quite sturdy. Put some weight on it. So, I presume first you attach. Yeah, it's got instructions with it, but I don't think you need instructions. Not rocket science. Okay, so I've attached. Attach the tripod to yeah. Position it in that. Which way am I gonna do it? So it goes like that. Mm. 
need to figure it out how to attach it yet. Look at the instructions. See how to attach the smartphone. It's got two holes here, one here, one here. So this goes into one of them. So this strap must go like this. Take a bit because it's like the first time I've done it. Uh, <laughs> okay, I've just taken a look at the image and I'm doing it wrong. I've done it wrong. See, the instructions could be better, so you really do need to watch this video because I've just looked at it and it's not like that at all. It, this, this is how it goes. Yeah, it clips onto here like that. Let me clip this on first. <sighs> there, so this clips onto this. And this is aligned with this, your camera like that. So it goes like this. Now where's that? So basically, you align this part. This is what holds it onto the telescope, the monocular telescope like this. So you align it with that. See, it doesn't mention this in the instructions. And then you screw it on like this. Yeah, tight. Now, I attach this to the monocular scope. Like this, that's it. Then I add it onto the tripod. So it's much easier once you looked at an image of what it looks like at the end, otherwise you're doing it wrong. Okay, that's attached. Let me just tighten everything up. Hopefully it won't move. Let's push it on. Okay, now good to go. Take the cap off the front. There. Now let's have a look what the zoom is like. We'll focus it, of course. The camera. Ooh. That's the monocular telescope attached to the smartphone camera. Now let's see what it looks like. There. You can see the t 
two bunches of pears in the distance. Like I say, it's a bit of fidget, fidgeting to get used to. I suppose you'll improve with practice. But that's how it's attached. Camera's there. So I was doing it wrong initially. I was trying to attach this to the tripod, but that's not how you do it. Like I say, it's stable. Oh, camera's gone off. Yeah. Like I say, it's stable. It doesn't move. And you could just set it up for a close-up shot. Just walk away. There it is in the distance. There. That's what I'm zooming into. But yeah, that's it. Got a good zoom. It does the job. So it does work, it does actually give you a good zoom. So how do I rate it? Apart from the instructions could have been a little better. I did figure it out after looking at one that's already a picture of one. So it's pretty fairly easy to attach. Just to the cap there, it's attached. So it's not complicated. It's got a little pouch. I'll not try the, this yet. Yeah, camera's gone off again. Yeah, so it, main thing is it does give you a zoom, a good zoom, which you need for if you're going to shoot video and footage in smartphone. Now, I'll see if I can actually hold it in my hand, which would be a bonus. Yeah, obviously, yeah, you can zoom in, so you can hold it in your hand. In fact, it's quite stable, look. The pairs are there. So it does work. It's quite steady in your hand. As you can see, I'm moving around. There's the swing chair. See what else shall I zoom into? Sunflower. Can I find it? Yep, there's the sunflower. Can you see it now? There it is. The sunflower there, which you can't see, but zoomed in. It's quite bright. Obviously, because the smartphone camera is brighter than on the video. But you can zoom into the sunflower, back of the sunflower. What else should we test it on? Um, the red. Swing chair, should we test it on that? There we go, here's the red swing chair. So it does work, it gives a good zoom. And I can hold it in my hand. You can just walk around like this. <laughs> so what do I give it? This is what it looks like at the front. It's got a good quality housing. So uh, what do I rate it? I rate it. Put the camera back on. So what do I rate it? Um, yeah, I'll give it five out of five. Ten out of ten. It's well built, robust. It does the job. It zooms. You can actually hold it in your hand, which I thought would not be possible. I thought it might be too shaky, but it works. So let's shoot some footage with the thing and show you what it looks like. Like I said, this is the first time I've used it, so experience will improve. So I'll give it 5 out of 5, 10 out of 10. Like I said, this is what the scene looks like and this is what it looks like with it zoomed in.